Hi, welcome back to my channel, I'm Lizzie. Hi, welcome to Lizzie's Week. Today, I have my monthly favourites. I thought I would do a mini roundup of the stuff I've been loving. So I've got beauty, chocolate, books, of course, and there'll be a note on that later. I think that's it. Oh yeah, and another like beauty product machine thing. So let's get into it. First, I'm gonna go with a makeup thing I've got, and you've already seen this already if you've seen my Beauty Pie makeup review video. And there were some bits in there that were really hit and miss, but this one was definitely a hit. It is the Beauty Pie, I wanna say like, it's got a special name, Push Your Luxe, Lux, Lux Eyeshadow Palette. And it has got some gorgeous warm undertones, warm shades, and I love them all. Um, but you can see like the ones I've used the most, such as this one, which I believe is called Pilot. And this copper one as well, I love that. But we've got this brownie sparkly one. Um, I haven't got it on today though, which is quite ironic, even though this is my favorite. I'm using another palette, but I, I've loved these. I've When I've done my makeup this month, this is the palette I've used. They're so buttery, creamy, and they just blend so well and it's magnetic and I love it. Next, we're not <laughs> hanging around here. I have got the Skin Clear Cleanser with, no, I can never pronounce this, salicylic acid. It is by Boots and it is basically, you put this onto a cotton pad and you put it across your skin. Now I have like combination skin, I'd say. I mostly get congestion, mainly my T-zone, which can be a bit oily, and then sometimes like breakouts on my chin, uh, sometimes here as well. And sometimes, I'm sure other people get it, just the top of my back as well. So I just put this on a cotton pad, I put it across my face and across there, and this has done wonders. And this only costs four pounds. This is a 145 milliliter bottle, and I think it's so good, it does the job. It clears my skin like within a few days, and it's just so easy and simple to use. It doesn't break the bank and you probably get it in your local boots now. Now this one, I wasn't sure if I wanted to include this or not because I'm still on the fence. However, I'm moving more, the more I use this, you'll see, you know, the more I use this, the more I like, I wouldn't say fall in love with it, but I'm really glad I do use it. And it is this, it is the Magnetone, um, I don't know what is, what is, what, let's see, this. This is the Magnetone Pore Patrol Skin Renewing Pore Extraction System. This is like, I wanted something that was similar to microdermabrasion. Now, if you don't know what it is, you go to a beautician or like whatever, someone who does beauty stuff. Can't find my words today. And they have like this special machine that like sucks up all the dead skin cells from your face and it's like super high intensity, but they know what they're doing. This, wow, I've been on a roller coaster with this. As I said, I'm hoping to do a review video and blog post on this, um, comparing what it was like at the start and to a few weeks later, because I've been using this, I think well over a month now. And I definitely have felt a difference. I think it's only starting to reveal itself that you can see a difference. Like before it was quite dull, but now I feel like it's so much clearer, it's less congested. But Every time I use this, so I'll just let you listen. It sounds quite inappropriate, but it goes to five settings and you turn it up each time. <laughs> and you just brush it across your skin and it's like a suction. So it's best for like your T-zone and just for getting like the dead skin and like little bits that are tucked in your skin that you may not have been there. And you can take this off You've got different nozzles and then it goes up to five intensities. Wow, you don't need to go all the way. I made the mistake of going up to five on the first try and I gave myself blood blisters. It's not happened since then. I just have to be a lot more careful. So I go up to intensities one and two and it does the job. My skin feels so, so smooth after like, oh, it's so good. Um, and I feel so much better in myself. It's given me a bit more confidence, dare I say. Yeah, I really like this. Still falling in love with it, should we say. And it's really easy and quick to charge. Yeah, I really recommend that. Now, I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I do, it's stuff I really enjoy, and that is business. And one of those things is Dragon's Den. Now, it's finished here in the UK, and it's similar if you watch, I think it's Shark Tank in the USA, um, but it is these. They are little hand sanitizers. Got all these different scents, and they are gorgeous, let me tell you. It's very hard to find a sanitizer that smells nice, but also does the job. It's not sticky, it's not snotty, and it does what it says. Oh, oh my gosh, they are just like, you don't need a lot, so it's just a, I mean, okay, probably more than that, Lizzie. And then you just rub it into your skin, and it does it so quickly, and it smells, oh, that was really strong. It smells incredible. That's the lavender one and it probably put me to sleep. But yeah, it doesn't feel snotty. It doesn't feel like greasy or like weird after. It's just perfect. They're just so good. And I got that pack of six. I wrote it down. 16 pounds for all of them, but they're always doing offers. So it's worth, if you're interested, going on there. They've got more scents as well. Okay, it wouldn't be a favourite without chocolate. And that chocolate is... Ceres. 
this is the white chocolate one now it's just been easter like of course you're gonna have chocolate but these every year they come by i don't know if they were there last year the white chocolate ones but i had the normal chocolate ones oh they're just blooming divine i love them they're just like if you're not familiar with them they're amazing if you like smarties you'll like these they're little eggs and they taste of just white chocolate and orange oil and it's just everything good in the world and i love them and then books so i haven't actually got them because they're both library books but the first one i'm going to recommend which i loved five stars i read it in like i think less than 24 hours and that is sister sister by candace braithwaite i'll try and include a picture if i can but it's basically a collection of it's 10 chapters and a collection of essays about what she'd tell to her younger self or like girls who didn't have a role model like her when they were growing up uh, i also loved her first book i'm not your baby mother it covers some really wide topics that should be spoken about more and this one continues that across those 10 chapters she's got and that's just they're just amazing she writes beautifully so succinctly and she puts her points across so well my second book is of course by my favorite if you don't know already my favorite thriller crime novelist author and that is tm logan and that is the curfew so this it got four stars for me i think because like i loved the catch so much and it's just which was five stars for me and the curfew just didn't quite get there but it was still really good and it's based on a kid who goes missing he's not back by his curfew and his parents are actually I guess you could say protecting him, covering it up because he doesn't tell them what happened that night. So as usual, he writes amazingly. He, there are so many twists and turns and it's all because this girl has gone missing. We don't know where she's gone. We don't know what's happened to her. And why has, I think it's Connor, the boy. Why, how is he involved? Why was he involved? What's happened? And it's just basically a great crime thriller. And it's uh, TM Logan's latest book for 2022, I believe. And yeah, I've got one more book to read, 29 seconds, and then I'm all up to date, but I just love his books. But yeah, if you're into thrillers and crimes, uh, British, crime then that is the one for you i love it and i'm looking forward to his next book because he's got another two coming out so yay yeah that's my favorites for april i hope you enjoyed this video it was a quick snappy one we got a little bit of everything but yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up that really means a lot hit subscribe if you want it'll be great to have you around and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye